Hey Finksters, how's it going? Peter here with another video. Uh, today we'll be going over how to count characters in Python um, except for the empty spaces. Uh, if you're new to uh, programming or new to Python in general, uh, a string is made up of letters, numbers, symbols, and also spaces. Uh, so if if you have, if you ever need to get a count of, of all the characters but exclude the spaces then I invite you to to watch on just to see uh, how we solve this um, if, if you're up for a challenge then uh, by all means uh, pause the video and see if you can um, come up with your own solution and then and then and then see how it compares to how, how we came up with it um, there's a link here uh, for some Python string methods uh, so if you if you can just have a read over um, see if if any of these kind of looks like uh, you can use to to solve the uh, solution um, but with that said I'll go ahead and get started um, the first way that I came up with to solve this problem was uh, I guess if you think about it you can first calculate uh, how many uh, spaces you have in your string and then from there just subtract that uh, from the total length um, so I'll just use a simple example here with we've got a string with uh, three letters and two spaces um, and the way to get the, the count of spaces is uh, was with the uh, the count uh, method the string method um, you can actually just put anything in here so if I use the letter B we should get one right. Um, but for our, for our purposes, we'll we'll use the space, um, and we'll come up with two. So since we know how many spaces there are in this string, uh, all we have to do is just subtract that from the total length. Um, so that works. Uh, another thing to maybe consider is if you had these consecutive spaces, uh, it, it will also work. So if you call the count, we've got 10 total spaces now. Um, and then so you could still subtract that from the total length, just three. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty straightforward solution for the first one. Uh, the second one um, that I came up with was with the split method. So uh, let's see, this is. Okay, so the way that the uh, split method works is if we put a space in there, so what, what it'll do is it will split it according to whatever you put in here. So since we've, we're specifying a space, then it'll make a list um, of four elements and each of the elements would be once upon a time like so um, but the thing to be aware of is if you have, oops, if you have uh, multiple spaces uh, what happens is the split function will take the first space as the delimiter but then the rest of them it'll turn them into empty strings um, so one uh, workaround for that is just to either use uh, the Python keyword none so now um, if it's none then it'll get rid of all of the spaces for us um, the, the other way is just to leave this blank so that works as well Okay, um, so now that we have our list uh, with no spaces, the next thing we could do is get the length of each of these letters. Um, so the Python map function is great for this. Uh, we would specify uh, length, and then our 
iterable that we need to pass through is the, the string with the split method. Okay. Um, so when we do this, we'll get a map object. So let me go ahead and put this in a variable. So I'll go ahead and save that into a variable. Um, so what that did is it, uh, the length of each of the uh, these elements in the list uh, were calculated and stored into a map object. Um, and to see what the results are, you can use the uh, the Python uh, function next. Okay, so that that'll show that the length of the first one was four. Um, so this next, if we call it again, we should see another four for a pawn. Um, and then the next one would be the letter A, which is a length of one. And then time is another four. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, in case you didn't know how the map function worked, that was just a quick refresher. But for our purposes, we actually can just pass this into a list. Uh, constructor. Yeah, so I'll just do that. Okay. Okay. So now we have a list of of all of the lengths, um, and then so all we have to do is just call the sum function just to add it all up for us, like so. Okay. So thirteen. So. Once upon a time is four, and four is eight, nine, and then another four, thirteen. So that's it. Yeah, that's that was the second solution that I, I came up with to to count characters um, while excluding the spaces. Um, and then the third and last one that I'll go over is with the uh, replace method. Um, so. So that's our string, um, and then we'll use the replace method. Um, so with replace, we'll specify that we want to replace spaces with an empty string. Um, so then if you can kind of visualize it, then it'll just be one big string with no spaces, like so. Um, and then you, all we have to do is just call the length function on that just to see what the character count is. Um, and it does work with consecutive uh, spaces as well. So I have a bunch of spaces there. Um, we'll call the replace function. It'll still Get rid of all the spaces just fine. Um, yep, and then just call the length function. So yeah, that was um, that was the third solution. So um, just to summarize, uh, if you need to, uh, if you need a count of all your characters, uh, excluding the spaces, the first method we used was to count the spaces and then subtract that. Um, So count. So the first way that we solve this was to calculate how many spaces we have in our string, and then subtract that from the total length, like so. Uh, the th second way that we we figured this out was with the split method. So uh, let's see. So it was my string dot split. Um, and then we won't specify the, the space, right? Because uh, just in case if there's consecutive spaces in our string, we'll go ahead and just leave it blank, or we could use the keyword none. And then what that'll do, that'll give us a list with all of our words. Um, and then we'll need to calculate the length of each of those using map. 
thing. And then once we have that, uh, it'll be a map object. So don't forget to pass that into our list constructor. Okay, and then once we have our list of uh, each of the lengths, then we just need to take the sum, add it all up. So, hope this Python one-liner makes sense. Okay, and then the last way was with uh, replace. So, my string that replace. So, we want to replace all spaces with an empty string. And then just call the length function on that. And that was it. So hope that makes sense. Um, what did you do if you if you actually uh, paused the video and, and, and gave it a go? Um, I hope that uh, you came up with one of these. Uh, if you came up with something different, um, let us know in the comments. Um, uh, that would be pretty cool to, to see a, a different solution. Um, so yeah, that was, that was that'll be it for me. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, uh, let us know. If you're uh, thinking about becoming a Python freelancer, you know, I'd, I'd recommend that you look into becoming a Pinkster member. Uh, there's a bunch of us on there. Uh, we've got a Discord channel, um, and you know, we're there just to help each other out. So it'd be pretty cool if you you joined so i uh, hope to see you there but um yeah that'll be it for me and uh, i'll just catch you in the next one all right